What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Aviation 767. Today we're going to be talking about how to make a perfect thumbnail. Now a lot of people I see on YouTube have interesting thumbnails for their videos. Now you want something when you're thinking of a thumbnail that will catch someone's eyes. The title is one part and the thumbnail is the second part. For me, I have really really worked on thumbnails over the past year and making them just a little bit more easy to read and likable so you can click on a video and watch it. So today we're going to go over for a model airport how to do that. When I look at a thumbnail for a model airport, I'm looking at the airplanes and you know ground crew, gates, etc. Right? So there's two parts in this video that I'm going to show you and the first is going to be Focus, uh, focusing on the main idea now in this if this were my thumbnail what you're looking at on the screen right now that'd be a lot you're seeing a hangar in the background you're seeing a map in the top right you're seeing a lot of aircraft kind of everywhere you're seeing two bigger aircraft right here in front of you so what would I do to make a focus aircraft now of course I could do it with this Delta MD 90 right here I mean that's no issue you get some stuff in the background and you can focus on it I could do this American uh, A321 or I could do that bigger guy in the background which is what I do so what I do is obviously kind of fo uh, focus on it now you can see in the bottom left hand corner there's an American tail right here you got a little bit of that Delta ND90 you could honestly push it out of the way but you focus on the main aircraft and you get something in the background so you could do that with any airplane, and that's just an example number one, you could do it with the Emirates, or you could do it, say I want the Southwest pushing back, well boom, I focus on it, and what you see behind it is two aircraft. Same thing here, you could do a big nice one here with two aircraft, it doesn't really matter as long as you get a nice focus aircraft, and you get a little bit of stuff behind it. Sometimes you can do an aircraft like the Tokotanda where it's literally just that, but that's all up to you. So that's example one is the big focus aircraft. Now to get a good kind of full thumbnail, what I'd suggest is GSE and gates. Now for this side of the airport, I don't have gates yet, obviously, but if we were to do something like over here, we're going to use gates and GSE. So let's say the example or the thumbnail for a video I want it to be this Delta A321, right? What I'm gonna do is I have the gate, I have a few aircraft in the background, and I say I want them in the, the background. I'm gonna move, now usually I, I do move these. It kind of depends for the thumbnail, it gets a little bit annoying. But boom, I'll move these, and then I'll try to find that Delta A321. And sometimes you do have to do a little bit of uh, playing around. Focus. Whoa. Now sometimes even if you think that thumbnail spot's good, what I would suggest is taking it and then I would flip around the other way. And it, it does take a little bit of time, but at the same time I think it would be worth it. Because you want to see what it would look like. You don't want to be wondering, oh, maybe this could have been better. So the only thing with these kind of thumbnails is that jet bridge gets in the way of the nose of the aircraft. But apart from that, you get a nice view of that A321. For this example, I will probably be staying here because we'll get that jet bridge on this side. And what I'm going to do is grab some GSE and kind of fill it in. This is the second part to a good thumbnail for this model airport type. So you see right here, you got a Delta CRJ900, kind of getting catering, you can't see it. Um, let's see, behind them, we have that Lufthansa, and right here, we're actually going to put that Frontier right back. So that gives a little bit of, uh, you know, oomph to it, and actually all the way over here, ugh, we'll put that United 737 back there. You can't really see it, but it gives a little bit of something. So. Here's how I would set it up if I were one of you guys wanting to add GSC to the aircraft. So I'm gonna go ahead, you can't really see it, but here's a pushback cart. At least it adds something. You can kind of see it, but not really. Next off, I'm gonna do a fuel truck uh, on this side of the aircraft. Once you get the pushback cart, everything should be on this side, except for um, your baggage. Sadly, that's, I don't like doing it on this side, but sometimes I do. 
but you can still kind of see the uh, ground crew uh, vehicles through the aircraft. Not as well, but they still pop through. So I'm just going to do a few of these. Uh, once again, I in this video, I will leave links to the jet bridges. They're on GeminiJets.com. They're, they're kind of expensive, actually. And I'll also leave uh, links to the GSE. But, like I said, everything is on GeminiJets.com. So that's pretty cool. Now, for this thumbnail, it will be a little bit different. I have realized that I may want to move one airplane up just to give it a little bit of uh, variety. So I'm going to go ahead and put this United Series 200 right there. So you kind of get something everywhere. And that's how I would do a good thumbnail. So I'm going to show you one more example. And here's that second example. So you don't always need a background kind of, you know, just kind of of the airport sometimes you can just literally focus on that one aircraft and you know make someone you know think okay this is international and blah 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 so that's two types of thumbnails there's more obviously but those are the two examples so you can either have a nice full one with a lot of different stuff in it or you could have just one simple with uh, detail Apart from that, guys, have a blessed day. Bye.